Silver Stone, the ultimate action hero. Top agent for a secret organization. Saving the world one mission at a time. At least that's who I play on TV. In real life, I'm Jet Jackson. Being a TV star is cool, but being a regular kid is even better. So I had the show moved back to my hometown, Wilstead, North Carolina. Now, I can hang with my friends, which is great. And the best part of all, I get to spend a lot more time with my family. Hey, I'm just trying to live my life as a normal kid. But some people still see me as the famous Jet Jackson. Like you just went marathon. Close. Across the football field, up the stairs, down the hall, spotted you on the stairs and chased me. Until now. Remember that time I entered Kayla in the art competition and she wasn't too happy? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a good lesson for all of us, staying out of each other's business. Yeah, well, let's just say some of us learned that lesson a little better than others. You did. I did. I couldn't help myself. I got her an interview at this art gallery in Raleigh. They're having a show introducing young black artists. You are so gonna get it. I mean, Kayla is gonna be mad. Kayla is gonna be furious. Kayla is right here. Hey, Kayla. Hey, guys. Um, wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Kayla, JB has something he'd like to tell you. Um, Kayla, there's this art gallery in Raleigh, and they're featuring young black artists. And, and I... you entered me for consideration without even telling me about it? Here it comes. Were you involved in this too? No, in no way, shape, form, or fashion was yeah. I involved. Thank you, JB. Thank you so much. I've been looking for a place to showcase my artwork. Why not in Raleigh? I gotta go tell my art teacher. I'm guessing she's overcome her fear of showing her work. In other news, Apparently, a recent crime spree by two youths calling themselves the Rebels has escalated. Bree Boyshenko, the self-proclaimed leader of the Rebels, is the daughter of international terrorist Vladimir Boyshenko, a.k.a. The Rat. This As is beyond cruel. Soon the entire world will know my face. Lucky them. And her partner, known only as Huey, is the estranged... I'm sorry, that's strange. Uh, son of ex-magician and infamous mentalist Dr. Hypnato. With the rat and Dr. Hypnato behind bars, their children have vowed to succeed where their parents have failed. Kids. The whereabouts of the rebels remain unknown. Elsewhere, a local bank was robbed by another teenage thief. This one, not so smart. After pulling off a seemingly flawless heist, the thief mistakenly took off his mask just in time for the hidden camera to capture his likeness. In the flesh. Now all I have to do is show them the painting and show them me, and if they like both, I'm in. Well, then you're as good as in. There's nothing not to like. Dad, I'll take that as another compliment. You okay, Dad? Uh, yeah, I just, um, I think I've got to put money in the meter. Can you handle this masterpiece the rest of the way yourself? If I get another ticket, your mother won't let me hear the end of it. Sure, I'll see you inside. You did that? Yeah, I did that. I love it. It's got a life of its own. Uh, it would look great in the show. Now, if I could only get the gallery owner to feel the same way. Oh, she does. I'm her, or I'm me, Brenda Slayton. Hi, Kayla West from Willstead. Uh, I'd introduce you to my dad, but he forgot to put money in the meter. Uh, hit me in a sec. This is so cool. Silverstone's gone bad. You can only be good for so long. Oh, and about putting my father in jail. Sorry about that. Sorry? Are you kidding? Do you have any idea what growing up was like? Move to a new town. Find the grimiest, grungiest hole to live in. Meet a boy, bring him to my disgusting home, and then have to introduce him to my disgusting dad named the rat. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't go to the prom. And she had it good compared to me. Dr. Hypnoto, my dear old dad, shaved my head since I was three, made me wear sequins on every piece of clothing that I owned, and he convinced me that his stupid doll plush Mr. Putin was my brother. Not to mention that he used me as his guinea pig in all his hypnotic experiments. 
To this day, I can't snap my fingers without falling asleep. So, thanks for putting my dad in jail, too. My pleasure. Where do I sign up? Cool. Silverstar wants to be a rep. I don't understand. Sign up for what? Don't worry. I already know about the rep. Bulls. Bree, I can't believe you told him. He's bluffing. He doesn't know anything. Let's see. You hacked your way into the Pentagon supercomputer and reprogrammed the missile launch codes. You've asked for $500 million within the next 48 hours or you'll launch those missiles at New York, London, Sydney, Los Angeles, Hong Kong, and Moscow. OK, so you know a few things, but. You've heard of Artemis, right? Well, he's not the real nice guy you probably imagine. I mean, sure, he's been like a father to me, sending me all over the world. Oh, nice life. Nice. If you enjoy being tossed out of planes, nearly run over and shot at! I mean, sure, I get to save the world every week, but do you think I get an allowance? I hate my life. I hate Artemis. And I want to be a rebel. What's in for us? Money. We don't need money. In two days, we're going to have half a billion dollars. Au contraire, mon frère. Lesson one, Silverstone. Never pay ransom. They'll only want more. When you go to pick up the money, they'll be waiting for you. But I know where they keep the money. What happened to you? I thought we were meeting inside. I'm sorry, honey. I thought you wanted to go in by yourself. I've been waiting right here. <laughs> we must have got our signals crossed. Oh. But anyway, they loved Island Girl. <laughs> they said they'll call if I'm in. You sure you're all right? Never better. Still there. They will get it. Artemis should be here any minute. He better. We have six missiles aimed at big cities. Anything goes wrong and Huey doesn't get to the internet to cancel the launch codes and those cities go boom. Why don't I leave him here and you and I can get better acquainted? Good idea. Sorry about that. Silverstone. There he is. Now, you guys stay out of sight. And if you don't think I'm one of you, then watch this. You're late. Again? You were supposed to be fighting the rebels, but I suppose robbing banks is more exciting. It is. And by the way, I did find the rebels. Fine. I will take it from here. You ought to go back to headquarters and clean your room. It looks like a disaster zone. Get going. No. Very funny, Silverstone. Now go. No. Now you listen to me, young man. No, you listen to me, old man. I'm tired of you always telling me what to do. Silverstone, your mission is to do all the work while I sit in my cozy lair and wear a beret. And what's with the fake British accent? You're from Jersey. Silverstone. I'm through with your organization, and I'm through with you. Silverstone! I quit. Nice! You gotta teach me that kick. Dad! Dad! want me at the art exhibition. I'm in. They said I can show as many paintings as I can bring. It's a Saturday and Sunday. Be there. Oh, you know what, honey? This weekend might not be that good for me. But I got a ton of chores to do around the farm. And oh, no, you know how much no way you're going to miss this. You can slide on the chores for one weekend, right, Mom? Of course. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's not like you won't have other exhibits. Dad, you're going. Come on, I really want to share this with you. All right, I'm going. Promise? Promise. <laughs> <laughs> and it represents the free spirit inside all of us that wants to get out. Excuse me. Any sign of Dad? No, but he'll be here. He's three hours late, so I'm sure he's coming. You know how your father gets, Kay? He starts something around the house, and he just gets consumed by it. He promised. The money's sitting at Mission Omega Matrix, just waiting for us. Right, like we're gonna walk right into their nest and take it. If you can do that, you're a better magician than me. Hey, where'd my egg go? 
would you do that? Walk in is exactly what we'll do. While they're at the ransom pickup spot waiting, we'll slip in and grab the money. Where were you? Um, I was at the feed store. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. He just didn't show up at my gallery showing. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I, well, I just started doing things around the farm and I completely forgot. No, you didn't. You didn't forget anything. You promised me you'd be there. Kayla, please. It isn't as simple as that. Yes, it is. You promised and you didn't show up. And I want to know why, Dad. Sit down. I'll stand, thank you. All right, then I'll sit down. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to have this talk with you. Kayla, the other day when I took you to the art gallery, there was a sign out front. It said, young black artists. I saw that. Well, in case you haven't noticed, I'm white. What does you being white have to do with anything? Everything, sweetie. I have a question for both of you. Who am I? Let me answer this one. You're Kayla West. Very funny. Let me put it another way. Do you see Kayla as black or do you see Kayla as white? Why do I always get the hard ones? <laughs> Come on, black or white? Oh, well, your mom is, is black and your dad is white. So I see you as both? No, you don't. When you see me at school and I'm with a bunch of other kids, am I white or am I black? I guess I see you as black. What about you, JB? Well, if you want me to be perfectly honest, I can see that you do. I would have to say black, too. What's going on, Kay? Well, I have this situation with my dad. He took me to the art gallery the other day and then made some excuse not to come in with me. And then he was a no-show at my opening. When I confronted him about it, he said, if people knew that my father was white, then they'd probably look at me and my art differently. That's messed up, Kay. <sighs> yes, that is messed up. Mind if I say something? Please. I'm not saying that what your daddy did was right. But I'm sure he thought he was protecting you. Protecting me? Well, from what? Well, the world that he grew up in only a few years back. You, J.B., Jet, would not be friends. Even here in Wilsted, you could not ever have been friends. Not too long ago, races kept to themselves. Blacks with blacks. Whites with whites. Where would that have left someone like me? Very much alone. Man, I thought MOM would be some high tech facility. <laughs> this place is the dumps. It looks like Bree's house. Yeah, but nicer. More like it. It's so white. Lord, Mrs. Slayer. I find that you're so romantic, don't you? Way better than my dad's lair. My dad doesn't even have a lair. He has a hole of magic. He's so lame. So, where's the money? I'm rich. Who needs magic when you got cash? Out you go. I've been thinking.
What's the use of having all this money if you've got nowhere to spend it? What? The entire world is our shopping mall. Well, not in a few minutes. You're gonna blow a chunk of it up, remember? Well, it's just a small chunk. All right, go ahead. It's what your parents would do. Hey, you cute! <clears throat> I mean, you got a point. Blowing things up is what Dad would do. Shut it down, Huey. Oh, come on! This was gonna be the greatest magic trick the world's ever seen! Now you see six cities? Come away! Now you don't. Well, all right. We'll shut the missiles down. Jeez, I hate being nice. Deactivated. But you both owe me big time. Yes, I do. And I think I'll repay you by showing you a little magic trick of my own. Abracadabra. What? Where are we? In a maximum security prison. I think we'd let you into our real headquarters. Please. I thought you were one of us. You thought wrong. Uh, Hi. I'm glad you're up. I wanted to talk to you about yesterday. I wanted to talk to you, too. Kayla, not coming to the gallery, that was my decision. I hadn't talked about it with your mom. Right or wrong, it was my call. Dad, I think I know why you did what you did. Do you really? It's too bad. I know what it's like out there. It can get pretty ugly. Tell me. When your mother and I were first married, we were so young and full of ideas about how the world would work. We thought our love could conquer every bit of hate and prejudice that we'd come up against. We were wrong. Some were vocal about their feelings, those you could just stay away from. But the real danger lay in the silent ones. <laughs> the ones who would smile to our faces and not approve the loan. Not hire your mom for the job. Dad, you think I don't know what it's like out there? You think every time people see me and mutter half-breed or mutt under their breath that I just don't notice? Trust me, I know what it's like to be judged, to be excluded. Well, then you can understand how year after year of living with it has taken its toll. After my beautiful, precious daughter was born, <laughs> I made a vow to myself not to make waves. And that's what I've done. And your mother and I have made a pretty nice life for ourselves. Dad, I understand what you're saying. But you're hiding. And I won't hide who I am. Don't you see? By not making waves, you're exactly the same as those people who would smile at you, but thought differently. The only way anything is ever going to change is to be who you are. I won't deny or hide who I am. Everything I am. I am black and I am white. Kayla. You are my father. You do what you have to do. I need to be at the last day of the showing. Whoa, Kayla, I think I know what this is. 
Uh, this is man's search for the elusive quest to look inside himself to find himself. Close. It's a flower. Or that. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful work, Kayla. I want to buy one for the house. You don't have to buy one, Miss Coretta. I can just make you... Nonsense. You're an artist now. It'd be an honor to have a Kayla West original. Okay. <laughs> I guess I am a real artist now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Jet and I were talking about what you asked us the other day about being black or white. No, you're not just black. Right. You're Kayla. Kayla's black and Kayla's white. But most of all, Kayla's Kayla. That's the color we really see you as. Thanks, guys. Uh, Kayla? Oh, hi. Well, it looks like your work is a hit. I'd like to keep some of your pieces here on a regular basis. That, that would be great. I just need your parents to sign a few release forms. OK. Uh, my mom's right over there. Well, I do. Yes. Yes, you will do just fine. <laughs> um, Miss Slayton, this is my father. My wonderful father. <laughs> You were great, Silverstone. We almost believed you really had gone bad. Well, that's part of my training. Thermonuclear decoding, martial arts, and acting classes. Yes, nice work. Well, I wonder how our reunited families are bonding. I shall three minutes. Three minutes. Processed cheese? What did you expect in prison? Gouda? I call him. Hush, Mr. Brisk. What do you think? He's your brother, you know. Whatever, Dad. Ollie was frying. Ollie was frying. <laughs>